someone would come your way. And the predator is really hard to control in this game. Like you watch right there, all I got was a hit marker because I boosted really quick. Yes. And what help you guys out? I say the best perk to use would be hardline, not assassin. The hardline's the best because you can do. Now you can have two assists equals one kill, and also plus the one less equals the kill streak. One less kill is kill streak. So instead of 11 kills, for 10 ki 12 kills for a payload, it's 11. Instead of 5 kills for a pred, it's 4. And 2 for a UAV. I usually get my UAV about every life. I highly recommend using the UAV. And predator, and just about any other perk you want. Not perk, kill streak, any other kill streak you want. First perk, I recommend slide of hand. Because in down sight doesn't really matter. What really matters is switching weapons faster. When you're not using scavenger, you want to switch weapons a lot faster so you don't get killed. Because I usually get killed picking up someone's ACR or something. Watch. Pick up that guy's scar and you have ammo to, for days. And then, if you get mad, I recommend switching assassin. If, ever, if you see like a lot of UAVs in one game, like 10 or 12 in a minute... I recommend switching to Assassin because you can't play without it because people will just look at their minimap the whole game and they won't do anything else. They'll just pick you off the whole time. I'm pretty sure this is my life I'd get my payload, but I'm not positive. I get two payloads in one life, which is pretty epic. And What else should I talk about to you guys? The Scar L Custom. Now, the Scar is hands down my favorite weapon in Modern Warfare 3. Everyone uses the Type 95. It's decent, but I really can't take control of it because I'm not good with those three round burst weapons. So, I like to use the Scar at the red dot because the iron sights on the Scar are horrible. And with the silencer, and that's explanatory because they're all obviously the best attachment. I mean, this thing will just molest. You always, you usually have, you usually win every gunfight because for before anyone rounds the corner. But that's like the one exception. If people are using a Type 95 or P90, it's probably the only situation when you'll die. Besides that, you, you should you you should usually win every time if you have half decent aim. Now, uh, I recommend. Wow, that was bad. Look at me having a spaz right here. I recommend for if you want to get better, you have to stick on the outsides of the map all the time. It will be insane because people always rush B and they die instantly and they go like 25 deaths and 10 kills and they have horrible games and their KD's terrible. That's because they always like to rush B. You never rush B unless you're certain. If you have a UAV up and you certainly there's no one there. I recommend you staying close to your A or C. In that general vicinity, like the whole battle. And if you hear someone say, this is domination types by the way, and if you see someone taking over A or C, you can just, yeah, this is, I basically violate my own rule, fail badly. <laughs> I'm telling y'all not to get B, and I'll just go over there and get it. And then you want to stick beside A or C, when you hear them say, I'm losing A, I'm losing C, you can just go there and pick them off, or you can wait for them to secure it. And in Modern Warfare 3, if you secure the position, you get points added onto your point streak, which I usually do every life, so I can get my pred, which makes me get my pavlo, which makes me molest, which makes us win. And then, after that, if you want to live, you don't want to do like I'm doing right now, camping. Camping is the worst thing you can do if you want to get kill streaks, because people will come back thirsty for blood. They'll be very upset. They'll come back with they'll come back with you like a Type 95, and you're dead as soon as they pull that gun out. This is a nice double. Come on, that aim is terrible. <laughs> now, the Predator, you always want to try and look for some double kills, and if you can't, uh, they see double kill. You usually want to try and go for the double kills, but if you only if you only see one person, just try and go for the single. 
And I noticed there's a lot of people using blind eye. They don't have any balls. They're like the same as the assassin people. They're just no balls. They don't have the balls to use different perk because they're too wimpy. Because they're, they're not they're not good enough. And what I'm doing right now, it's not camping. It's like I'll go with scouting right now. Gosh, this is base. It's not camping. It's scouting. Anyway, what you want to do is. If you have a UAV up, you just want to stay back and let the people come to you. And I highly, highly recommend you using Marksman. You can see people from such a long ways off, it's such a help. I've gotten so many extra kills, you just, you don't even see the person, you see their name, and you just watch them come out and they will die, like, instantly, because you have the heads up on them, and when they're using, like, dead silence, but there's no... You don't need to use Dead Silence in this game, only if you want the pro version, which is, uh, no falling damage. But, um, there's no sound horrors in this game, I'm fairly sure. Oh, yes, Pavlo. Pavlo, okay, the bad thing about using AC-130 and stuff, AC-130 is not good on this game, because, like, this would be, like, the only map it's good on, because this map is open, but most of these maps, like, Resistance and Lockdown... They have all these buildings in there. And then it's hard to get, like, the AC-130, 30mm, and all that in there. It's not good. I haven't tried the Osprey Gunner yet, but I've seen people, like, wipe with Semstrate. He does amazing with it, of course. Because he's a beast, obviously. <laughs> and... I also don't recommend the Reaper is decent actually. Um, it's pretty good for like what a nine kill streak. Uh, it's it's pretty good. And uh, what else? What else is there? UAV I highly recommend. And Predator, and then whatever else you can get. I'd re I'd even put an Osprey Gunner on there as long as you have that UAV and Predator. It's two great stepping stones. Cause you can put anything on here. You can put Juggernaut. If you have, if you're decent enough, you can actually get this. Predator can get you at least a one kill, so that'll put you up at five. That's all you need to get is ten more, and just be seek secret around A or C. Except when you're getting triple cap. Oh, I was so scared right here. I'm I'm in final stand because I went on like a bad death streak a while back, and I'm asking my um I'm, I'm on split screen right now. I'm asking my brother to cover me, and he helps me out a ton. And I'm saying there's someone behind him, and uh, thank God for my pavel, it saves me. Um, uh, I recommend for the death streaks. If you're bad, the funnest, the funnest death streak by far is Dead Man's Hand. But if you are that bad, there's something seriously wrong with you because it's like a sixth death streak. And basically, after you like him final stand, but you're this little C4 clipper, and you can just whoever killed you is dead. And there's my second payflow. And they're just over here at A trying to shoot it down. This is really bad. They're embarrassing. And then I sent another payflow as soon as that's done. So if I was this other team, I would be flipping my fuck out this time. Anyway, um, they're they're winning still, which I'm not sure how. And they and they do win, which is very shocking. I'm not even sure how. Cause we haven't triple capped for the longest time. And they're over here with the jab ones trying to shoot down my pay blow. And I'm going over here. I get a few hit markers. And I turn around and then, oh, oh. Yeah, from behind, double teamed. Anyway, if you're just starting out the game. Okay. If you're just starting out the game, I highly recommend using the UMP if you're level 1, first recon class. And. Definitely the scar when you unlock it, and make sure you put a silencer on it. And well, thanks guys for watching my first video. It's a real pleasure. Um, subscribe, like, and rate if you feel like it. Thank you for watching, guys. Yep, subscribe. I'll rape you in my country, Hickness. Well, let's finish this up. Um, yeah. And thanks guys so much for listening. First commentary ever. All is like my hickness. Alright guys, thanks. See you next time.